Yeah. Look at that. Oh. And I landed. There you go. Yeah. Finish my cup and post some more. I'm a Mega. Um, it's converted to 3S. It's a hobby co build, as you can see. I'm running the, the eBay alloys, upgraded to Delrin 3 valve pistons, stock springs, 40 weight, low C oil. We've got Duratrax lockup ST compound 2. We've got a 120 amp OC day. This will be the first run with this ESC. I was running an 80 amp and we've got a 3650 30 uh, no 5200 kV 3650 5200 kV and we're up on a 27 tooth pinion. I'm still on the stock inputs and we'll see how that goes. People have been breaking their inputs. I have replacements. I haven't broke mine yet. Okay, these seem a little bouncy. And the CSC is still stock. What's that? Enough. And it cost enough. Weirdo. Anyway, let me turn away from the wind. Anyway, like I was saying, bouncy in the front. Ooh, she's fast. And uh, we're gonna probably play with the system. <laughs> she actually took flight right there, guys. And uh, I'm still running the stock diff oil. I haven't touched these diffs and I haven't touched these inputs yet. I'll tell you what though, she doesn't want to roll over. Oh, she's fast and this ESC is all stock. I have not uh, messed with this ESC settings yet. So punch is probably, I think they come on like medium. Everything's set like to medium when you, when you get these. here full speed and it just took flight I'm surprised this stock skid plate this is still the original mega skid plate I have it I've updated the front but not the back yet I have the back it's probably nothing happened oh something did happen back on and we'll be out here shortly again this thing's freaking fast the handle's great too these shocks are really good um i'm gonna play with the front oil a little bit but other than that i'm pleased all right guys peace see i still have the original inputs and they're in good shape and that thing was going like uh, probably about 50 miles an hour on the dirt and the, the nose came up so hard that the rear tires came off the ground and it was literally flying in the air. It was literally flying in the air until it smacked here really hard. And then when this hit, it slammed this one into the front, boom, and tumbled. Anyway, oh, 
Looks like we lost a spur. Yep. So the pinion's still good. Pinion's still good. That spurger couldn't handle that RPM. Oh, that pinion looks a little worn too. It's aluminum. It was a lightweight aluminum Robinson Racing pinion. I'm going to need to get a new pinion for this and a metal spur. I'm going to get a steel spur and a steel pinion, some hot racing stuff. Yeah, we can see that. If you guys can see that, look at these teeth. These teeth on that aluminum. This was too much RPM for an aluminum pinion and a plastic spur. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Let's pull it out. Yeah, we did a number on it. And that does not look good either. Looks like a saw blade now. Looks like a saw blade. <laughs> and that's exactly what it did. It sawed into that. Holy moly. Anyway. Um, it was fine with the ADM. Put the 120 amp in here, it's just too much power. And uh, time for some steel upgrades. Hot racing. Not sure what kind of, uh, which one I'm going to get yet though. I'm probably going to go down a tooth or two. Um, and I'm probably going to get the motor mount. That way I could put any kind of pinion I want in here. So hot racing spur and the hot racing motor mount and then I got a bunch of different pinions already that are 48 pitch that I could use. I think I have a 29 tooth. Maybe I'll put the 29 tooth pinion on here with the with the couple teeth down spur and see how crazy fast we can get this thing to go and push these stock inputs to their limit. I had a feeling like when it flipped earlier that those inputs might break but they did not. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So stay tuned for some upgrades on this. Cause I have two Coming of soon. these. I can just go to my other Sentin, pop this modular out, and pop it right into here without doing anything else. It has a 4300 kV motor in it, and it's running, I think, a 17 tooth pinion. So if I want to run this, I could still run it, or else, like you know, I could change gears and do all that kind of stuff like that. But I have two power modules, so. Um, that's a cool thing. You could, you could keep power modules. Um, like say you've got like a, the hot racing motor mount set up power module and you've got certain motors and certain gearings. You can have like four of these. And depending on where you're running at or depending on what you're doing, you just pop this out and pop in a new power module and it would have different gearing and different motors on it. Pretty cool design. Um, the new ones have a different, the BLX has a different slipper, but I like this slipper. Um, it was easier to adjust than the, than the 4S BLX. This one, you just put, you just put the uh, wrench on here and then you push it forward or backward if you want to tighten or loosen it. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, time for some upgrades here. Metal, get the hot racing metal motor mount and a few things. All right, guys, just wanted to tell you about that real quick and just talk about how cool these little modules are. Um, just pop them in and out, man. Just pop them in and out. Super cool. All right, guys. Peace.